What's up guys? So today's video is going to be about the Dessert Warrior. This is the Boker Kalashnikov Auto uh, that has swept the world <laughs> with interest. So I went out and I bought a strawberry donut with sprinkles on it just for this video to match the theme of this knife because um, <laughs> uh, I thought that'd be fun and it's a great excuse to get a donut. Am I wrong? So anyway, um, we'll put that in the background there, not very important. But anyway, uh, this is about this knife. This is the uh, Automat Kalishnikov 74, also known as the Boker 74, or the Kalishnikov 74. Um, super popular knife. This came in a million different colorations and patterns. And I wanna say a couple years ago, maybe two or so years ago, um, Blade HQ, had offered this knife, this is the original one by the way, they offered this up for sale and people saw it and I, I wanna say it was an exclusive to Blade HQ, I could be wrong but I, I feel like that's true. Uh, so they just thought it'd be a fun idea to have like a you know dessert themed knife, um, in this case a donut knife, that's what people call it, the donut knife. And uh, it was ridiculous, totally ridiculous. You can see we have a pink uh, handle with sprinkles on here uh, a yellow pivot, a purple um, a button on here, red, green, blue hardware, blue clip, blue blade. You know, it's ridiculous, right? It's clown knife. <laughs> so people posted about this and everyone's like, wow, that's stupid. And everyone wanted one. It became a legend. So I'm making this video just in case you're one of the very few people who have never seen this, never heard about it. I want to tell the quick story about it. So I do suppose this donut should be in view when I'm talking about this. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a well-known knife. Uh, what happened was when these were first released, I don't know how many were available, maybe a hundred, I don't know, something like that. They're originally like 55 bucks for the regular size here. And uh, they sold out immediately. Like I said, half the people were making fun of them, half the people wanted to buy them because they were unique. They wanted to get them for their girlfriends and their wives and their daughters and for themselves, just because it was something different. You know, like I, we talk about knives, it's black on black on black, tactical, tactical, tactical. You know, and then this thing pops up and uh, it's kind of cool because it's different. This could have had anything on it. Could have been unicorns, could have been, uh, I don't know, little cherries, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it would have been of interest to people who were just tired of the same old thing, right? So when these things hit the market, like I said, half the people were making fun of them, but they sold out immediately and everyone wanted it. The interest was through the roof and the secondary market prices were crazy. So it attracted even more attention. So originally this is a $55 knife. When they sold out, you had uh, people on uh, like, you know, Facebook knife groups and all across social media. They're looking to buy these and people looking to, to sell them for a profit. Remember, $55 was the original price for this thing. People had these listed for 80 bucks, 100 bucks. As time went on, you saw these for $150, $200 each. I'm not even kidding. And people were buying them for $150 to $200 each because they wanted them and it's all about supply and demand. Everyone's talking about it, so everyone wanted to get in and they wanted to own this little piece of knife history, right? So it was, it was crazy for months. I mean, everyone was talking about this. Oh, did you get a donut knife? I'm looking for one. And people are posting, hey, I got one for sale, 200 bucks. That's insane. That's an insane markup because of its popularity. Now, because these were so darn popular, Blade HQ came back and they had another run of these and word hit the street. Everyone was talking about it. They're gonna be dropped soon. And when they did, just, I mean, minutes, maybe not even a couple minutes, maybe it was one minute. They were immediately sold out again and we saw the exact same thing happen, secondary market. Now, at this point, it's not just people who are interested in them. At this point, they know there's a huge demand. So people are buying like five and 10 of these just to flip them. And that's why they sold out so fast because everyone wanted to get them and they want to make a bunch of money on it, right? It's the flipping game. That's everyone's side hustle these days, flipping stuff, buying it cheap, selling it for more, you know, when it's uh, hot. So they sold out immediately. Then I want to say they made a smaller version, all right? Just a little bit shorter. Those sold out immediately. Then I want to say they did a Victorinox uh, themed, I, I think it was the, the classic SD, and they had the same thing, the um, same motif and everything. And those did really well. I don't know if they sold out immediately, but they you know did really, really well. Then most recently, they came out with the uh, 2XL. So it was this knife, but it was the huge version, massive, 
large version of this knife. And guess what? They sold out pretty much immediately. And they're still for sale in the secondary market for more than they sold for originally. And Blade HQ started doing some bundles and stuff. In fact, let me uh, hop on my phone here real quick and take a look at this. So you can see right now, what that, there we go. Uh, so here's the uh, XXL version of it. Again, huge, 4.75 inch blade out of stock. Um, they have a bundle pack here. I don't know what this costs, but they also have the uh, matching. Like with these uh, XXLs, I think they also had some kind of a bundle where you got a couple things like this, you know, um, you know, pink mat, basically. Um, but yeah, this bundle set, I don't know what this was originally that's uh, sold out. Let me see. Let's see if they have a price on this. That was originally $179.95. Can't imagine what they actually sold for. Um, yeah. There's the Mini. 2.5 inch blade. This was originally $44.95. And if I type in, let's see. Just Dessert Warrior. We could see there is the Victorinox uh, Classic. That was $20. bucks. they are still available right now. Um... Add a, stock, add a stock on just the mat. And it looks like they have the larger Victorinox here as well. That's out of stock. So yeah, these things were just immensely popular. People wanted them. People still want them. I really wanted one. Not because I thought it was cool, but literally because I wanted to make this video. I wanted to show you the dessert knife. Um, you know, for the people who aren't maybe on other social media or didn't, just didn't stumble across this phase, this was a massive phase that's still ongoing. I guarantee you if Blade HQ drops another batch in any size, shape, or configuration, it will be just as popular and it will sell out immediately. And it's because there's people who are still interested, who still want them, as well as people who are still looking to make money and flip them. That's just how it is. Anything that's popular, especially, you know, the knife community is no, no different than any other collectible community. People are buying stuff that's hot just to resell it for more and make a couple bucks on the side. Like I said, it's people's side hustle. But um, the knife itself is, is fantastic. I believe I have multiple videos on the uh, Kalishnikov 74 Auto from Boker. It is super comfortable. You can see the uh, finger choils, uh, very rounded, you know, soft aluminum handle. Just feels great in the hand. Uh, you know, you have a ridge uh, pocket clip on here, which is pretty unique. But it fits in the hand very nice. No hot spots for me at all. Now, they've had this knife in so many configurations. This is just a limited edition version of it. But the Kalishnikov 74 is a fantastic uh, push button auto. It is just awesome. There's no safety on this at all. Hit the button, snappy spring, has a little coil spring in the pivot, locks up very nice. Um, this is just the, you know, the donut one, that's all. But there's all kinds. There's the original size, then there was the mini, then there was a, like a, a real tiny one too I did a video on. I don't know if they call it the micro or not, but it was really a mini mini. It was very, very short. I still have one of those in my collection somewhere. They had, uh, of course, a 2XL, like regular versions of that. They had different blade shapes. They have different blade steels. I mean, you name it. If you, uh, you know, have any interest in a decent auto, and that's why these were so popular because these were affordable. They were all around the $40 to $50 price range, and they were fantastic user knives. People love these. They, they actually use them. But I finally got one in a trade. Someone had offered me uh, the original, and I said, yes, I have to have it. I've been waiting for this for a long time, um, just again, to make this video and kind of get the word out. It is a little piece of history. If you hang on one second, I'll show you another knife I have that was super popular. All right, had to do a little dig in here, but I did find it. It is the Mermaid knife, okay, if you've never seen this. Uh, this is also a Boker knife, the Boker Magnum series, which is super cheap. Um, but this is also like ridiculous knife um, and so many people want it. It sells out when they have it for uh, Available for sale. It sells out because it's so crazy and unique again So many people think it's stupid. You can see we have an actual mermaid shape into the blade here All right tail comes out on the side very interesting design that works as your flipper as well as your guard your finger guard uh, but yeah, I mean it's a Cheap quality knife, but it's a it's something to talk about. So this is something that I had to have in the collection. And now that I've made this video, I am happy to say I do have a donut knife in the collection as well. Just for for conversation piece, if nothing else at all. You know, if you're uh, at a range and you're taking your knife out for something, or you know, you're, you're hanging out with your buddies, take a knife out. This demands some respect. 
this demands some questions. You know, you take out your regular old Spyderco or Benchmade or, or CRKT, whatever you got. It just looks like a knife, you know, and you just cut something. Most people don't even care. Uh, but you take this thing out. People are going to ask questions. People are going to be like, what in the heck is that thing? And that's when you tell them the story. That's what makes it fun. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, uh, you know, funny paint job aside, it is a fantastic knife and worth every penny. Uh, whatever variant you end up getting, if you are interested in something like this. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just want to do a video on the old donut knife. So, how appropriate to cut this strawberry donut with the donut knife. Alright, cut this right in half. Because after this video, I'm going to enjoy half, but I'm going to save the other half for Christina. Because she enjoys a donut occasionally as well. And sharing is caring, right? So that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comment section if you are aware of the uh, Dessert Warrior series of knives, if you had to have one, uh, if you overpaid for it. I mean, some people really overpaid for it, but they don't care because it's all supply and demand. If you want something and uh, that's the price at that time, then that's what you pay for it. So that's it for this one, guys. Let me know down in the comment section, do you own a donut knife, one of the um, Dessert warrior series of knives just curious um are you happy with it i love it i mean they're all fantastic knives it's just like i said that little that extra paint job is what makes it kind of special and fun and, and makes it a conversation piece you know but anyway that is it for now thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video take care